Hello and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and we're doing another outfit guide. And today we're going to be finally taking a crack at Johnny Ringo, the deadliest pistolier west of the Mississippi from the movie Tombstone. And I've already done, um, I believe I've done both Kurt Russell's character Wyatt Earp and Val Kilmer's character Doc Holliday from the same movie. So if you're interested in those, you can find them on the channel. But today we're going to be doing Johnny Ringo. Oh, I might have also done Curly Bill Brocious, so this might be the fourth one I do from that movie. So in any case, uh, we're going to do our best to try and imitating him, clothing, weapons, and hair and facial hair style. Uh, but let's just dive on in and start off with weapons. All right, and so for weapons, there's a lot of debate about Johnny Ringo. For one thing, in real life, when he was found dead, he was found with a full-length, uh, seven and a half inch barreled uh, Colt single action army revolver uh, and he's been reported to have used many other models of guns including uh, a Lamette revolver at one point which he actually used in the uh, Tombstone TV show uh, so that was interesting enough you could do a Lamette with Johnny Ringo but we're going to be going after the movie version and in the movie version he uses a Pretty much inox or silver-plated uh, Colt Single Action Armor Revolver with a quick-draw variant barrel, so it's the really short one. It's even shorter than what we have here, which is called the Artillery Variant, which is the kind of standard-length barrel. In the movie, he has ivory grips, not pearl, but the closest we can come to is pearl, and so that's what I did here. Like I said, I went with the short barrel because we're doing the movie version, but we did improved rifling and improved sights. We have full engraving because it's quite fancy and he's quite a flashy character, and I did the silver inlay for that. Uh, I didn't know if he had anything carved on the gun. I don't think he did as far as the grip goes but I figured a scorpion might fit him pretty well so if you're gonna do any carving I feel like the scorpion fits it the best and then for the metal uh really any silver will work so iron nickel or silver plating but I think just because of the extra shine you get in the sunlight with the silver plating that it makes sense to go with the full silver plating for the barrel cylinder frame hammer sight and trigger so that's what I've got here I think overall it's a very classic looking gun obviously uh if you're going for a lot of different things the solid silver Peacemaker is kind of the coolest way to go. So that is the gun we're going to be doing for Johnny Ringo. And for our hair and facial hair, this is what I came up with. I think it comes decently close to the Tombstone movie representation. So for the hair, we did the swept back and I did the sixth color variant. It's this dark brown one with kind of like black lowlights in it. I think it looks pretty dang sharp and it looks quite a bit like his does in the movie. It's probably a little bit more frazzled up in front, you know, a bit more volume and definition there. But if you're wearing the hat, it looks very, very good with it. So that is the hairstyle we went with. For the facial hair, as is often the case, uh, trying to imitate people, you can't actually get it perfectly right. But I think the count, and now this is one that costs gold bars, so I can see not wanting to do it. But the count set in the sixth color variant, I believe, comes the closest. Johnny Ringo's mustache doesn't curl up quite this much in the movies, but it does curl a tiny bit, and it looks like this. Plus, he does have the tiny little triangular soul patch goatee looking thing going on, and so this one comes the closest. So, if you want to do hair and facial hair, that is my recommendation for Johnny Ringo. Alright, and so here we have the full outfit. And now, at first glance, you may be like, that doesn't really look like Johnny Ringo. But side by side, you can see that there are quite a few similarities, and it's really the best I was able to do. So I had to make one major creative decision here that I go either way on because it's kind of debatable. But I'll just go through the items one at a time and kind of explain them as we go. So for the hat, I went with the first variant of the Wakeney hat. And now this is one of the uh, Bounty Hunter outfits. So if you want to get this hat, that's how you do it. You have to have the Bounty Hunter roll, and you unlock the Wakeney outfit, and you buy the first one, and you'll get this hat. Uh, uh, the reason I went with this is because there's no hat that really matches Johnny Ringo's perfectly. His is pretty smooth and circular. It doesn't tilt nearly as much as this. doesn't have as much of an upswept side. Uh, but it does have the lower crest on the top of it. Uh, and like I said, so this doesn't match perfectly. It has the right color. It has this extra band on it, which his doesn't have. But I don't think it looks terrible with the outfit. But the big part is that it matches the color, the kind of general gunslinger vibe. And it does have the chin strap, which his uh, famously does from the movie. And that comes up several times when the hat is like hanging off his back instead of on his head. So I think the Wakeney hat is probably the overall best option. If you don't go with this, then the next best one is probably the Gambler's hat, even though it looks a bit too small. So that is my recommendation for the hat. For the neckwear, the best option we have is the Day Shoot scarf. He has a large oversized black scarf that he wears throughout the movie that's tied in front like this. This looks quite a bit like it, so I think there's not really a whole lot to say there. The coat was hard to match uh, because he wears a gray coat in the movie. It actually looks... It's kind of got the same color as this, so I was able to match the color pretty well, and the style's not terrible here, but his does look significantly cleaner, and his uh, lapels have a kind of a cool-looking black outline on them. Uh, I tried quite a few different options, including like the Everyman jacket and the Antoine jacket, and there's quite a few of them in there. 
Uh, the worsted coat, I think, had one that I looked at. But I think that the second variant of the roller jacket, just overall with the outfit, is the best option. So that's why I went with this one. So the largest area of contention that I actually had in putting together this outfit was the shirt. So famously from the movie, and just the movie, not real life because it would be ridiculous, uh, all of the cowboys, including Johnny Ringo and Curly Bill Brocious, wear these bright red sashes. You know, it's, it's kind of like the mark of their gang. Uh, like I said, this is not a historical fact because it would be stupid for the gang of cattle rustlers and murderers to be riding around saying, look, I'm a cattle rustler and a murderer. But anyway, I wanted to have that red sash, and so that's why I go with the first variant of the Corrales shirt. Now, it's not perfect because Johnny Ringo wears a light gray bibbed shirt, which we have in the game and can easily do. So those are your options. You can either go with the Corrales shirt, this first variant, which is black, so it's not perfect, but it does have the red uh, kind of like sash. It doesn't hang down, but it comes pretty close. Uh, it has that red sash, which I think is more important than matching the shirt perfectly. So that's one option. Otherwise, the fourth variant of the bib shirt, the light gray one, is pretty much perfect for the shirt that he wears in the movie. So you make the option whether you think that it's more important to match the shirt perfectly or if it's more important to have that red sash. Personally, I think the red sash is more important. For weapon equipment, I think the black sharpshooter gun belt works the best. I think it's the smartest option. A, it has those little silver nubs running across it on the two belts, just like his does in the movie, and it's black, which matches that. And B, it's a sharpshooter gun belt, so short of the gunslinger gun belt, it's thematically the best one for Johnny Ringo. So that's why I went with that for weapon equipment. For the pants, we went with the sixth variant of the bandito pants, so we could get the gray ones, and uh, I think they match pretty well. Again, color and style, and it was most important just because his pants and his jacket jacket are pretty dang close with the pants just being slightly darker. I thought it was important to make sure that we tried to match the jacket pretty close and so that's how I landed on the bandito pants. I did tuck them into the boots because I'm not 100% sure how he does it but I thought the outfit overall looked better with the boots Texas style. For the boots I just went with the stovepipe square toe boots and then I did the sixth variant of them to get the nice clean ones because again it just looked better with the outfit and I think I was able to one find one picture of him where you could kind of see the bottom of his, uh, bottom of his boots and they looked square-toed instead of uh, pointed. So that's why I went with these ones. And he uh, is, in fact, a cowboy, both in the gang name and also he rides horses and presumably rustles cattle and all sorts of stuff like that. So I did want him to have spurs, and I just went with the Western Rider spurs and did the ninth variant so they would match the boots and look good with the outfit. And so all put together, that is the entirety of his outfit. Like I said, uh, it doesn't look 100% perfect, but I think does a pretty good job of imitating what Johnny Ringo looks like. So that is the outfit. You may notice that I'm no longer in Valentine, that's because there was a group of uh, hackers, or as they like to call themselves, modders, uh, that were just making it basically impossible to record this video, so I had to come out to my camp to finish it. Uh, that being said, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful if you want to dress up like uh, Johnny Ringo, or if you've been waiting for this guide for a while. If you have any requests for anyone I haven't already made, uh, definitely check it out if this is the first guide you're seeing, or if you're not familiar with my, li uh, my library of videos. I have made tons and tons of these outfit guides, most of them are fan requests, so if you've got any requests that I haven't already made, please let me know down in the comments section and I will give it a try. And if it's possible, you just might see a video coming out. But other than that, I also do weapon videos and all sorts of other stuff. So, hope you enjoyed the video, but that's all for today. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.